Hello, my friends. Manu Kahani Guru, Bogdan with you. Today is December 7. Winter. New York. Rain. 54 degrees. Nevertheless, I want to share today with you my kind of pain or frustration or wonder associated with people who don't know about Manuka honey medicinal usage or let me say therapeutical properties as well as B propolis extract or shilazit or Siberian cedar sap oleoresin. I try to popularize such products. I try to tell as many people as possible about their medicinal usage, therapeutical property, as preventative medicine consumption protocol parts. Last week, I've been invited to senior citizen daycare center with my lecture about how I survived after my cancer removal. I met with several dozens of adult people and looks like I've been presented as another entertainer. Um, looks like. But after first five minutes I saw light in this senior citizen's eyes and real interest to the information I provided to them. Unfortunately none of them knew about Manuka honey and B propolis existence. Unfortunately, because one lady got a cancer and she told me that if she knew, she would obviously start consuming Manuka honey daily because she is and was financially capable to afford such product this jar of honey 250 grams or 8.8 .8 ounces is good for 15 days if you consume it one teaspoon American size teaspoon per day indeed it was not nice experience looking interface of those people telling them they missed their chance none of them got cancer but all of them are old and all of them spend time in this center because for actually different reasons some of them have nobody some of them have adult kids, they really don't care about their health status, but they want their parents to be entertained for half a day because the center I visited provides with a program for half a day. And I ask administrator if it should be good to repeat my lecture for those people who used to come afternoon to this center and she said yes of course so this week I am going to that center again and of course I like to popularize such product I like to popularize my own experience with that product to as many people as possible. That's why 
my dear friends, my dear watchers, my dear subscribers, if you want to help me to tell people about a real Manuka honey, about a real bee propolis extract, therapeutical applications, please share this link with those people that you think need such information. Of course, I see that not many people can watch more than 15 minutes of such YouTube episode. That's why I try to limit my episodes to 15 minutes. So, today I try to answer several questions I received by email or by phone from you, my dear channel watchers. One lady from South Carolina asked me about why Manuka honey versus everything else honey packed in a dark plastic jars. Indeed, jar is dark. A very good observation, very good question, because real Manuka honey spooked of sunlight. That's why, please, do not expose Manuka honey to a sunlight. You see? All dark color, not see-through. By the way, another point, how to identify real Manuka honey from not real Manuka honey. Of course, such taste is childish, because all manufacturers producing counterfeit Manuka honey knows about that trick. So, of course, they're gonna pack their honey into dark jars. Manuka honey got scared of sunlight. Please do not keep it close to the window and do not expose it to the sunlight. Good. Another question I received Friday from a man from Texas. He asked me about Bogdan, why your honey doesn't care UMF sticker or certification. And I answered this question before, several times on my channel you can watch. But let me repeat, UMF, it's a logo on Manuka honey produced in New Zealand for sale. 20,000 New Zealand dollars per year it's a membership fee for unique U Manuka M Factor F UMF Beekeeper Association. They have invented their own standard and they call it UMF. If you're gonna see UMF logo on Manuka Honey sticker you're gonna see a very small letter R in a circle. That means UMF, it's a registered trademark. That's not a certification. That's not any scientific certificate that tells you how many active ingredients contains in that batch of Manuka honey. That's why I decided do not increase cost of my B Magic brand and do not pay $20,000 to New Zealand, probably reputable Manuka Honey Association. That's why there is no any difference between UMF sticker on a Manuka honey or MGO certified Manuka honey. If you are interested and don't trust me, you can shoot me email and I'm gonna send you independent, independent laboratory certificate that states that the batch number 
matching on a label contains specific number of dietary metal glyoxal per one kilo of honey. And same time I told you earlier, each batch number is unique. That's why we use plus sign after MGO. If you see MGO 850 plus, that means it was at least 850 in time when honey been packed. I told you earlier, metal glyoxal grows up automatically, even after being packed. Because of why? Because it was not heated. It's a regular and standard reaction from uh, Manuka honey to grow their biological activity in time. That's actually why so much big difference between MGO digits, for instance, between 550 and 850, it's a significant price difference. So, December, many people got sick. I told you earlier, please consume mother nature gift, be propolis extract. I told you earlier about the difference between extract and solution. Please consume only extract because human body can consume and digest extract. Do not consume raw propolis. Our body temperature, unfortunately or fortunately, cannot digest raw propolis. Shilazit, I told you earlier and I dedicated a special episode about Shilazit. I told you what is that and for what kind of sicknesses or for what people age I would recommend to consume it daily one third or half a gram every morning with water. If you indeed interested in this natural 60 million years old supplement please shoot me email and i'm gonna send you as many scientific articles as i have on my hard drive all these products that i am telling you about i do consume myself i am not an actor i am not a medical doctor honestly i don't understand when those people who name themselves medical doctors pumping videos daily on social medias, Instagram, YouTubes, when they serve their patients, when and where, I don't really understand. To create a video episode takes time and preparation so you have to dedicate half of your day to create a 15 minutes episode and all these people pumping and pumping their episodes daily so i'm not sure that they are real doctors who really meet real patients um, i don't know maybe they are kings of telemedicines I am a live person. I am cancer survivor. My own 17 years of experience is a solid proof about how all these four ingredients I consume daily used and how they affect health support. I would greatly appreciate if you leave any feedback about what effect you reached 
by consuming real manuka honey or be propolis with any questions i would like to answer all of them thank you very much for your attention have a nice day stay healthy slava ukraini heroem slava no pasaran bye bye